All right, friends, welcome back. In this video, uh, I want to see about adding in, like I mentioned in the last video, some links uh, at the end of each um, little section for a zodiac sign that go out to horoscope.com for the given zodiac sign. And what we want to do is just uh, we want to link to the monthly horoscope for a given sign, okay? So what we want to do here is we want to put that link uh, after the paragraph element here, so just before the next heading for um, for a zodiac sign. So in order to do this, uh, we're going to have to do a couple things. So we're going to have to look at a new element, uh, which will be the anchor element, okay? That's what we use to link uh, around to different sites or to different elements within our site, which we will do uh, later. And when I mean within our site, that can be on the same page or to a given page, uh, different page uh, belonging to our site. Um, so we'll look at that later. Uh, for now, we're going to look at it linking to an external source, okay? So we'll learn about a new element. Again, that's the anchor element. And we'll also look at something uh, for the first time that we haven't looked at yet, which are HTML attributes, okay? So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so back over in our uh, HTML document here. So here's our first heading, okay, for our first zodiac sign. And here's our little placeholder text that is going to be, uh, you know, a descriptor of the zodiac sign or whatever we want to do. After this P element here, we want to come underneath there and add in the A element, okay? So this is going to be our anchor tag. All right, and then I'll do my greater than sign to close off uh, the opening tag of our anchor element. And then again, VS Code gives us our closing tag uh, to match. Now, so this is our element. We can write inside of here uh, the content. Now, this is the text that will display that will be clickable that will then link to somewhere else on the web, okay? So what I'm gonna write in, inside of here for our content for the our anchor element here is, let's just say full month uh, horoscope. Okay, now let's save this and let's go reload our page and see what we see. Okay, so here, is the text that is the content of our anchor element. Uh, but as it stands right now, you notice that uh, it's not clickable, okay? Now, if we inspect this element right here, we see that it is indeed an A tag here, but the reason why it's not clickable is because we have not given our anchor element an attribute that is needed for that, which is the href attribute, okay? Now, this is an attribute that's specific to uh, the anchor element here. If we go over to MDN, uh, and we look at this uh, anchor element over on the right here, if we click on attributes and we scroll down here, we'll see here is href right here. So that's where the URL that the hyperlink points to. Okay, that's that attribute needs a value that is the URL that you want to point the link to. Okay, so the way that this works is inside of the opening tag for a given element, okay, we'll come inside here, we'll put a space after the name of the tag. And then what you can do is you can start listing out attributes that you want to supply values for uh, for elements. Now, some elements can, you know, you can have many attributes on one element uh, and you separate them each by space. So let's just do the one href. So we'll say href and then you put an equal sign and then a set of quotations, okay? Now inside the quotations here or inside the quotes, that's where we want to paste in the link to the source that we want to link to on the web, okay? So in our case, we want to go find the link for the Aquarius sign monthly horoscope over on horoscope.com. So let's go over there and grab that. Okay, so we're at horoscope.com here. We wanna go for Aquarius first. Okay, here's the, uh, let's see, let's go to monthly. Okay, now we can just grab this URL, we'll copy it. We can go back to our uh, editor here in VS Code and we can simply paste this in. Okay, now let's save that. And let's go back to our page and refresh. And now you see that the text content inside of our anchor element is now uh, clickable. You can see when we hover over it, our cursor changes to the pointer and it's got that nice underline that we're uh, you're used to seeing with links. And it's also purple because I visited this uh, link already. Okay, now if we click this, we can see that we get brought to that month horoscope. Let me close out the inspector here. We get brought to the monthly horoscope for Aquarius. Okay, but note one thing, when we click that link, it took the current tab that we were on or the current browser and it pointed it over here, it moved us over here completely. Now, if you don't want that behavior, there's another attribute you can supply on our anchor element in order to have that link open in a new tab. So if that's what we want, what we need to do is add in, like I said, another uh, attribute here. So if that's what we wanna do, if we come back to our editor here, here's our href attribute on this anchor element. Okay, we wanna come after this. You can go before if you want. 
Uh, but I'm going to come to the end of it. So I'm looking for that closing quote that closes off the value that we are supplying to the href attribute here. So here's that closing quote. Let's come right here after this and then we'll add a space. And then what we can do is say target equals. And now this one's a little special underscore blank. Okay. Now let's save this document and let's go back to our browser here. Let's refresh our page. Now, when we click this link, it should open horoscope.com for the monthly Aquarius horoscope uh, reading in a different browser tab. Okay, so let's click it. And indeed, we see that a new tab opened up. We can go back to our, uh, our page here, no problem. But it opens up uh, where we pointed uh, that hyperlink to in a different browser tab. Okay, so again, as a recap here, the way we can link around to different places on the web or within our own uh, site or within a given page is using the anchor element. And then you supply that an href attribute and you give that href uh, attribute a value of where you want that hyperlink to link to. Okay. And again, if you wanted to open in a separate uh, browser tab, you can add the, uh, whoops, uh, target underscore blank attribute in. Okay. All right. So let's change this. Actually, I think I want to say Aquarius, uh, monthly horoscope. I want that to be the text for the link there. Let's go back and refresh Aquarius monthly horoscope, click it opens up in a new tab. There we are. Okay. So as an exercise now, uh, why don't you go ahead and add links to all of the other, uh, Zodiac signs, just like we did this one here, uh, make them all open up in a new browser tab, uh, and do the, do that for the rest of these. Uh, I will do the same. And then I will see you in the next video where we will look at more ways to use links, but then we will also look at uh, list elements. Okay. Uh, and what we're going to do in the next section is we were going to, we're going to add some basic navigation to our site underneath this main header. But before we start uh, listing out all of the Zodiac signs, we'll add some navigation. It'll just be a list of uh, the Zodiac names here, the Zodiac sign names, and you'll just be able to click to one. And it'll jump you straight down to that section on the page. Okay. So again, go ahead and add links for the rest of these throughout the rest of the document here. And then I will see you in the next video.